I'm Eddie, CEO. I was using Microsoft Office 365, but now I am using Google Workspace. And for more reviews like this, click on the link below. These products solve the basic business productivity suite that everybody needs. Everyone uses spreadsheets from nursing to investment banking to entertainment to engineering. That's all the industries I've been in, and those are all that use spreadsheets quite heavily. Documents, everybody uses slides or PowerPoint for pretty much everything. So regardless of what industry you're in, you're going to need productivity software. It's just more of a question of what are you going to use. Google Workspace is best when um, people on a large team need to collaborate on the same document at the same time. So unlike other platforms like Office 365, where people are constantly emailing files back and forth, and you don't know who's working on what at the right time. So who does have the latest version? And then you have to label it before you email it to your colleague and so that they can't be working on it. And they don't know if they're working on the latest version or if you're working on the latest version. And then the files end up clogging your inbox. Rather than have any of that, everybody has access to the exact same document at the exact same time. You can see their edits when you're editing. and You don't have files going back and forth. You don't have to manage emails as a result of it. So it is great in, for real-time collaboration among teams. Microsoft 365 is not really better in a lot of areas than its competitors. It's just more of the incumbent. It's the one that people know. So when people talk about spreadsheets, they don't say, oh, sheets. They say Excel. When they talk about presentations, they say PowerPoint. So it's more of that as the legacy of anything else. So you'll probably be using Office 365 more of because of legacy institutional enterprise licenses uh, than anything else. Um, because now, like Google uh, Workspace is cheaper and it's better and it's getting more adoption uh, from an enterprise level. If I had to say Office 365 was best at something a long time ago, I would have said that it was much better for uh, robust spreadsheet applications. They weren't, there was a point in which they didn't do pivot tables or more sophisticated functions uh, as well as, say, Office 365. But now all the things that people use in most industries now, uh, even from a pretty solid data perspective, I don't think Office 365 has any strong advantages anymore when it comes to that. The only thing I really have encountered lately that maybe PowerPoint has and a little bit more functionality is they do have this smart templates functionality where it looks at the data you have on your slides and it comes up with the artistic templates to make it look good without you having to be an artist. So that is nice. And I think part of that is because they have something that's installed. You can do things that are more dynamic than if you have to run something through a web browser like you would for Google Workspace. But overall, uh, Google Workspace also, it can't be overlooked that Google Workspace also can integrate uh, with Google Scripts in general. So there is a lot of deep tech integration that they have with their other products, like Google Maps, and then you can, uh, there are ways to export your emails on a regular basis into your email marketing platform. Uh, just Google has an amazing integration with their basic coding uh, heritage actually and that's and whereas Microsoft Office 365 is more about just a standalone uh, office suite. Yeah what it's like getting started with Microsoft Office 365 is paying for it and to be totally serious I actually just encountered a situation where I wanted to cancel my annual membership but it was automatically renewing on my card and it didn't remind me ahead of time and that really annoyed me because now I have pay for yet another year of something I don't want to have that is also very expensive. Uh, when it comes to uh, Google Workspace, it's cheap, it's easy, uh, and it's a very familiar interface. Everybody uses Gmail these days. Imagine using the Gmail interface except on the enterprise level. Really convenient. All the web apps for it on your phone, mobile apps are all really good too. And they remind you every month when they're about to charge you. Not like I would cancel it, but it's nice to do that instead of getting one email a year saying, hi, you owe a bunch of money for something you don't even use. Uh, so I would say that getting started is really easy um, with Google Workspace and it's everything is already familiar to you and it's extremely cost effective and you can execute 
an extremely quick speed that isn't normally available where you don't have to install something. And I don't like how like five times a day, Microsoft Office 365 keeps reminding me to update the latest version of 365. Because Google Workspace is a series of web applications, they are just updating it and things change and upgrade itself automatically. I don't have to constantly hit the window that says, remind me later, except not really. When I want to install like updates for Office 365 that I don't even need uh, that uh, eat up space on my hard drive. Top considerations when looking at productivity software is the ability to work within Teams effectively. Ironically, even though Microsoft's uh, whole suite of products is called Microsoft Teams, uh, it is not very team friendly. Uh, the most important aspect of productivity software is not working in isolation. You're usually working with other people. So when you're choosing this software, it's how easy is it to collaborate with other people? Probably as your big priority. Um, cost is always helpful too. So it's a better product. It costs less for Google Workspace. <clears throat> and I'd say something worth noting is also one of their uh, traditionally considered weaker products. It's actually gotten a lot better. So Google Meet is their video platform and since the pandemic they've done a number of updates that really made it comparable to any other platform out there and it all runs through the browser so you don't have to install anything which is really unique uh, to google meet and integrates well within your calendars and everything else so i just think that those considerations about widespread integration and collaboration are definitely the top considerations along with cost so with that, Google Workspace to me is hands down the 